Welcome back with Word of the Day, which is... Verbum Sap. Which is a word to the wise is sufficient, no more need to be said. So essentially it's like your folks saying, because I said so. That would fall under that. Um, anyways, Verbum Sap is short for Latin Verbum Sap. Sapientis, no, sapienti, satis, est. A word to the wise is sufficient. Verbum comes from the Proto-Indo-European root war, with variants to speak. The same source as English, as English word. German wort, Old Prussian words, word and Lithuanian Virtus name. Sapienti is a is a dative singular of sapiens, rational, sane, understanding. <laughs> nope, that's not the Homo sapiens today. Um, anyways, the present participle of saper, to taste, taste of, have good taste, to be intelligent, know, understand. Sapir is the source of the Romance verbs Savier, French, Saber, Spanish, Portuguese, Catalan, and Italian, Sapir, to all meaning to know. The participle sapiens mm -hmm. is also the specific epithet for the genus Homo, human being. Set or satis, enough, sufficient, is by origin an indeclinable noun, i.e., the noun that the noun has no inflections. Satis comes from Proto-Indo-European root sa, say, to satisfy, fill. And its derivative noun, satis, set, uh, satiety, fullness, also the source of Old Irish saith, sat. Satiety. The variant say is the source of Gothic saiths, full, German set, Old English said, grave, heavy, full. Um, originally sated, full, English sad. And Greek Hayden, enough. In Greek, initial, original initial S before a vowel becomes H. So, Satan. Okay. Um, est is related to Old English, and English is. Um, German and Gothic ist, Greek esti, Sanskrit atsti. Old Irish is, Old Lithuanian esti, Old Church Slavonic gesti, and Hittite ezi. All meaning is from Proto Indo European ST. Verbum sapienti entered English in the second half of the 16th century. Verbum sap in the first half of the 19th century. So let's hear this one more time. Verbum sap. So with that, that is it. Stay safe. See you in the next video.